Week 9, Problem 12. A technician wearing a brass bracelet enclosing area of 0 0.005 square meters places her hand in a solenoid whose magnetic field is 4 teslas. That's a lot of magnetic field. That is a lot of magnetic field. Maybe it's like a MRI or something? No, I don't know. CAT scan? CAT scan? Never mind, not important. Directed perpendicular to the plane of the bracelet. The electrical resistance around the circumference of the bracelet is 0 0.02 ohms. An unexpected fail, fa power failure causes the field to drop to one tesla. Okay, in a time of 25 milliseconds. Find the current induced in the bracelet. Okay, so I'm gonna skip straight to the everybody loves velvet bunnies. Nope, that is not what I need. Hmm. Well, let's do this step by step. Negative deflux dt, which equals negative db dt times area plus change in area with respect to time times magnetic field. Okay. And so we know that the, ch the bracelet, the area of the bracelet doesn't change, so that's going to be zero. And we know that the change in magnetic field, I'm going to rewrite this as delta B over delta T times area, which is, um, all right, so change in magnetic field will go from four Teslas to three Tesla, no, four Tesla to one Tesla, which will be three Teslas, and it does it in 25 times 10 to the negative third seconds, and then we multiply that by the area, which is five times 10 to the one, two, three, ten to the negative third meter squared. Ooh, they were very nice with this. One, two, three. Ah, nice. So we have fifteen over twenty-five. Okay, which doesn't seem like a whole lot of volts. So let's see. If we divide both sides by five, we have three fifths, which is like zero point six volts. Ah, that's pretty good. Nice. Go math. All right, so now we have our 0.6 volts. We need to change that to a current. So this guy, totally wrong direction. See, now at least you can tell how I uh, do problems. I'm like, um, well, let's use this formula. I'm like, nope, doesn't work. Throw it away. Grab another formula. So don't give up easily. Keep a uh, tenacity. All right, so current equals voltage over resistance. This is a uh, EMF voltage. Same thing. I just use EMF because we're talking about changing magnetic fields with respect to induced voltages. So we have 0.6, and I'll call it 6 times 10 to the negative first, over, uh, let's see, they gave us a resistance. I know it was small. Wow. 2 times 10 to the negative second. So we have 2 times 10 to the negative second. That's going to be the same as 10 to the second on the top. These will be the same as 10. So we have 60 divided by two, Ooh. 30 amps. Bam, that is a lot of amps. It's probably gonna warm the bracelet up. So 30, probably, I assume it wouldn't actually hurt her because all the current would probably stay in the bracelet. Cause it'd basically be, you know, from the top and the bottom of the bracelet. I don't know, not under, yeah, I think it would be. So you basically have a whole bunch of current surging through the bracelet, not necessarily through her. So find the power delivered to the bracelet. As this problem implies, you should not wear any metal objects when working in regions of strong magnetic fields. That seems reasonable. Hmm. Ah, there's a fancy watch, some fancy Rolex that's good for magnetic fields. Or at least it's advertised as such. I should look up what that is. Meh, I'll look it up later. Ah, gosh dang it. Ah, I'm gonna sorry, I'm gonna waste your time briefly. Magnetic Field Rolex watch. Bum bum bum, and it should come up with the Milgauss. Bam, see, knew it. It existed. All right, moving on. Find the power delivered to the bracelet. All right, so power equals I squared R. Um, in this case, we can also use V squared over R. I just use I squared R. So we know we have 30 amps. And I like to. It's. I think it's better to use I squared R because we're going to talk about um, this is a, a 
power delivered because due to resistance, resistance of the material. And it's better to use the I squared R for this. Um, I don't think it actually matters when you're talking about resistors like this, but for other circuits it might. So I just like to get in the habit of I squared R losses. So if I was a smarter person, I would know the details of when and when you can't use it. I don't know. I am not. So 2 times 10 to the negative second ohms. Times 2 times 10 to the negative second ohms. So we have 3, 9, 0, 0 times 2 times 10 to the negative second. Cancel, cancel equals 18 watts. Bam. Nice. Good for me. Good for me. There we go. 18 watts. That's all there is to that one. That was pretty good. I liked it. Not, not too bad, but uh, put a little realism in there, and I could do all the math without Wolfram. I like it. All right, that's number twelve. On to number thirteen.